important goal that event in our lives requires preparation. A diploma or a degree, getting a job, getting married, preparing for that wedding, having a family, the work of moving from one home to another, or like when a pope or a head of state is going to make a visit someplace. Preparations are made, often far in advance of the visit. When God was about to send his son to earth to teach us about the kingdom and to guide us into the kingdom of heaven, God sent someone to prepare for that coming, John the Baptist. And the Gospel of Mark gets right to that point by telling us about John the Baptist. He doesn't say a word about the birth of Jesus. We have the Gospels of Matthew and Luke to thank for those beautiful stories. Mark starts with John the Baptist, and the Baptist has a simple message. Prepare. Get ready. He's coming. John is not talking about preparing our homes, our gifts, our meals, our celebrations, which we always do at this time of year. And these are delightful traditions. John is talking about preparing our hearts. And so, in our preparations, we should be asking ourselves, can I love Jesus more perfectly? Can I love my neighbors more perfectly? Can I love my spouse, my kids, my grandkids, my siblings? Can I love more perfectly? In preparing the way of the Lord, it doesn't necessarily mean that we have mountains and hills of pride that need to come down. It doesn't necessarily mean there would be steep, broad valleys of spiritual laziness that need to be filled. It doesn't necessarily mean we have this rough and difficult countryside of serious sin and addictions that need to be eliminated in order to prepare for Christ's coming. But if we've been hard enough and apply God's grace, I think all of us can discover certain spots here and there on the way of the Lord in which we could love God or others in our lives more kindly, more gently, more consistently, more faithfully. The way of the Lord might have some bumps and potholes that need a little extra attention. And perhaps the extra preparation we need to do as we get ready for Christmas is to put some effort into being less busy. I mean, we all know it actually takes effort to be disciplined and to slow down and pull some of these things out of our lives. For what purpose? To reflect on Christ's birth and the meaning of why he came. To teach us and to guide us to the kingdom of heaven, that path of love. Again, almost every great goal and event in our life requires preparation. And establishing God's kingdom in our lives, in our families, our marriages, our homes, our schools, our workplace, our city, our nation, our world, to establish that kingdom takes no little effort. We have to be honest that God has already done the greatest part. And he is willing, in each of our lives tonight, as individuals, to do the greater part. But our preparation does take some effort on our behalf, and that's what the Gospel of John is getting at, and the Baptist message. Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his paths, get ready. One mightier than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop and loosen the thongs of his sandals. I have baptized you with water. He will baptize you 
with the Holy Spirit. Prepare. Get ready. Not just for Christmas, for Christ.